Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Tycho, and here's my partner in crime, Kevin. What's going on, everybody? So, we are going to review this top eight match against uh, Preston and Berger. So, they just got done with their coin flip. Let's see who goes first. What we got? We got Italian Urshifu versus Gardevoir. Yeah, I, I think I was emoting on him or something. I don't know what's going on. A little bit of that pre-match swagger is exactly what you need for the oh, yeah. top cut. And he's going to need maybe a miracle too, starting Luminion V as his active. Wait, you did? Yep. Oh, yeah, he... Oh, but he top decks VIP pass, so he's just Call that good player. Call him a miracle worker if he has sent him to the miracle leagues, bro. That's just how easy it is sometimes. Oh, you mean a little top tech? And now he wins the game for me. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right, I think he's doing a quick deck search, see what's in prizes, you know? Definitely looking for any important pieces. You know, Medicham, most important for this matchup, I think, personally. Uh, Cheryl, probably the second most useful card in here. You know, keeping counts Cheryl. of your energies, because you're going to be double guttering every turn all the time. Yeah. You know, the game would have been over with if I was playing Kill Rock Lunatone, to be honest. Probably. Yeah, turn one donk any day, now, bro. Also, a heavy ball in his hand. I think I would have liked to see the heavy ball first before the VIP pass, but that's a little bit easier information you can get out of. Oh. One of Rope Prize, Iono Tower. It, and a Water Energy, you know what I'm Probably more surprises in this position. Oh. Very flush, you know, ener not energy, um setting out, you know. It's gonna attach return here. I would personally probably go one on Luminion. There we go. Make a nice easy retreat play, activate Melanie for later plays. Oh. What 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 is going on? He put his shit upside down. Oh, <laughs> Passing over to Guardi over here. Looking to start the turn off with VIP pass. Now, I think he has another Rolts in his hand. So is he going to look for the new retreat play here? Maybe more turn one acceleration? He's going to bring out Rolts and Greninja, to be honest. I think I saw a couple energies in his hand, too. Would make sense yeah. for the Greninja to come out. Hmm. You know, let's let's give him. Let's put down the 15. Se oh, never mind. No, no 15 second counter. That's right. It's his first deck check. Yeah. Oh yeah. True. 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 Forgot. Two. For a little bit longer. I don't think I saw Zash and B while he was flicking through, but it might have been wrong. Super important in this matchup specifically. What's the reason behind it? Being able to Oko even easier. The China Arcana. You don't get mm -hmm. enough damage with uh, all the energies on Shiny Arcana. So you mm -hmm. need just that little bit more health to attach more with Psychic Embrace. Right? He Greninjas. You can tell he's a Yu Gi Oh player. Look, sideways. Two rare candy. Mm hmm. Going for the level ball. He's got a Curlia, Ultra Ball, another energy. Looks pretty ready for next turn. Yep. Stay down. Three Raltzes. Let's see. Kind of a clunky hand for the Gardevoir player. You know, he can do plenty next turn. But you might come up short a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it, it is pretty clunky, but I... But it seems like he's working around it right now, you know? Okay. 
Well, he does have to guarantee Gunvor play next turn, maybe? If he doesn't get hand disrupted. Yeah, he could go bench down Curlia and rear candy to one of the Shredding Arcanas to start. Mm hmm. And give up the Greninja. The teleportation first. Oh. I think probably attach and research here, I'd say. Just grab a fresh hand off of this. Yep. Let's see. I feel like he's thinking about forest ceiling for the VMAX. That way he can make use of that energy in hand and just get the spread going as soon as possible. Opting for the Arita instead. Still gets out the extra pings that he was looking for. Mm -hmm. What item is he gonna take? We're probably gonna maybe grab Octillery and have the Ultra Ball. Nest Ball for Remory? I like that play. And then research his hand completely next turn. Mm -hmm. That way, there's not a lot Burger will be able to do. Stop two Inteleons. Continually pinging his little guys. But... It is what it is, you know. That's what I know. Gets... <laughs> <laughs> See, if you had SP on VMAX, there'd be no issue. That shit would be tons of issues. It's not ability. Man, what does Espeon do it again? It just stops. So. Attacks, no. Ability, so, no, he, he would get a thing no matter what. Oh. And this early pressure is just so scary for the guard player. Because more damage on them, less you can psychic the grace. Your deck's just doing overall less. Mm -hmm. And Yoko Loop, you're always in danger of Yoko. There goes the first ping. He knocks out the Green Ninja and grabs his first prize card, leading off the prize race. I mean, this is exactly where you want to be as the Inteleon player. First prize, nothing's really threatening you for a knockout on your Inteleon. Already mm -hmm. set 40 damage onto his board. And your hand looks great for the next turn. Look at that curse hand shuffling right there. Went for the first shiny arcana. It is right handy, right? Yeah. Oh, sweet. He's got two more candy in hand and another ultra ball. He could manage out this Gardevoir EX, but it might be a little too soon to do that. Excuse me. It looks to go for it. He's gonna probably at best poke around half health of this Inteleon and look to two shot it later. All right. Thinking who to put the EX onto. Chooses the active Pokemon. Curly onto the bench. And Iono's. Uh, for a fresh, fresh six and five. Hard. I don't know how I feel about putting it on the active. This screams that he's trying to 
maybe use the Gardevoir EX attack. That just mm -hmm. feels like he's going to take silly damage, and those two prizes will come back at him later in the game. But he just plopped down Cresselia. He might be trying to do snipe play. Quick little, quick little snipe on that Remory could hold down uh, Italian's plans for a couple turns. Hold him down. Definitely their most important card, that Octillery. Grabbing almost any card they want on the deck. How much damage does he need to do to knock out that Remoraid? Ah, uh, just 60 damage, so he'll have that right there. Mm-hmm. There's 20 damage right there. Let's see... Uh, just return? Yeah, I think he just wants to slowly load up that Shiny Arcana. Maybe go for a potential Oko on a VMAX. And that leaves many different prize trades for his final two. Out are tied up for prizes now? At 5 and 5. Tell you, I'm gonna grab the energy off the top deck. Makes this play a lot easier. The hand looked like he was going to have to force seal for a supporter, mm -hmm. uh, but he is much, much more free in his options. Preston still deciding on playing the um, energy search. Well, instead he plays Clara, grabs the Remoraid and two water energies. Seems perfectly fine. Energy yep. retrieval and get your little fish back, and you're going to spread even more damage across everybody that the Cresselli just healed off. And you know, you're still going to be favorable in this prize trade. Alright, let's see what goes on here. Alright. Energy searches. Grounds and water. Yeah, just goes for a simple G Max Spiral. 140. Taking his prizes. Pretty slowly, but on board right now, he could set up for a uh, Urshifu for two babies and final two prizes somewhere in the mix. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see what Burger can do here. See, only two energy in discard doesn't look very likely even withdrawing a reversal energy to get a knockout with shining arcana uh, what does reversal energy do again so that's gonna give him three rainbow energy if he's behind prizes on an uh, evolution pokemon yeah oh let's see you Looks like he's going for the swing with Gardevoir v -Man. Yes. Uh, v, yeah. Interesting choice. I mean, leaving in the active, get swung on, might just ruin your entire prize trade for the Gardevoir player. This hand looks pretty decent. He's got the boss still tucked in there. So if Italian was ever to bench the Urshifu, he'd immediately capitalize on the KO which the V plus a V max would be enough for him to take the game. 
So I could see that as his rep to victory here. That's what he's going for. Yeah. Once that Remorate evolves into Octavery, I don't know what Preston can do. I'm just going to continue to bully the Remory for now. Mm. Seems like a fine play. Your opponent didn't do too much last turn. You know they still have the floor seal open, so... If any ability they like. I don't know, man. I have to call Animal Planet. He's beating on fish again. Yeah, it's not something you always want to see as the Italian player, but uh, anybody versus this deck, that's just what you want to go for. Immediately uh, gun down that fish and don't let him breathe from there. Yeah. Seems like he double gunnered, spread some more love with the damage. You know? There you go, finally benching down the Urshifu. He could line up for a potential Yoga Loop play with reading Alakazam onto Curlia, mm -hmm. and then finish up the game with Urshifu. Uh, but benching it now, probably doesn't seem too worried. If he does take the boss KO on it, he might go for the second bench. And just go for a checkmate scenario there. Alright, he uses four seal stone. To grab your boy, Medicham. Yep, so that's exactly what he's gonna go for. He wants to bully that Curlia ASAP, which will allow him also to bully that 70 HP Rolts and leave Gardevoir with just two Pokemon left. Oh, yep. very bold. You know, the more damage he keeps putting on the Shining Arcana, the less damage it's going to do. It might not even be able to take a VMAX back if it's late. Get Ultra Balls. For another Remoraid, you know, we got to bring back the fish. There's the Yoga Loop. Now we've taken an extra prize card. It's going to mm -hmm. have Octillery. He's got the retreat. I think I saw Melanie hovering his hand. He do a lot of damage this turn. Energy retrieval. He's gonna have another 40 and 40 spread. That Rolts is looking scared for its life right now, sitting on 10 HP. But uh, no room for Radiant Alakazam on Preston's bench. Oh yeah, there's the Luminion. Yeah. Melanie onto Urshfu. Draw another three cards. Nothing there particularly fancy to him, but, you know, extra cards and this Earth who's one energy away from being set up. He's gonna look for go for it now, or just swing with Inteleon real quick, and then set up a checkmate possibility for the next turn. Alright, he attaches. Yeah, it looks like he wants to commit to this now. Now, is he gonna take the Rolts with him? Of course, I'm pretty sure he's gonna take the Shining Arcana, but, uh... Yeah. It's going to damage the active Gardevoir. And then all you need is a Italian hit for game. Alright, he goes to Shiny Arcana. And twenty on a gar one twenty on the carnivore. Yeah, but that's and correct. I'm pretty sure Burger is out of rare candy, so at most this Ralt can go to is a Curlia, which will still just be one ping from death. Preston's gonna need to move a little bit of damage onto this guard for EX if he wants to finish it off with the Italian. Sitting at one thirty. Or, no, that looks like the wrong amount of damage. Or, it resists fighting, so, yeah. 
Okay, uh, resist, resist by 30, correct? Yeah. Let's see. Alright, he power pads for the bosses in Iono. Then super rods. Let's see what he brings back. He's gonna bring back a curly and a Zacian. And it routes. Alright. I fuck with that. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, all that seems fine to shuffle back in. All some good resources you wanna hit here. Mm-hmm. He's got the KO ready on the Urshifu, just his active, but yeah. we can see what he can do to prevent this next Yogluvin damage spread that Italian can pressure on. Alright, he just used Collapse Stadium. Pretty obvious what he's gonna take away. We gotta take away the Ram, not Ram Raid, the Luminion. Yeah, I don't know if I like this Collapse play. Uh, very easily bumpable mm -hmm. by the Italian player, and that just leaves that spot for Radiant Alexam, which should finish up the math for this Guard for EX. He goes to Urshifu, which lays him down to one prize left. Let's see what Preston can do here. To draw seven, he's going to be able to take an extra turn after this one. So he should be able to set up all the math he needs yep. for this final hit on Guardian Bore EX. Potentially even just going Octillery for Echoing Horn. And just building another 60 HP ropes with some double gunners. Never even having to go through the guard board. Let's see. How many energies does he need to use to do the double... Not to bring the Curlia to the so correct... he's gonna kill the Curlia with double... No, he moves it first. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alakazam before the double gunner, so it doesn't kill the Curlia. Just trying to beef up the Gardevoir a little bit more. Goes for the Yoga Loop here. You know, and then, you know, hit him with the Uno skip, you know. Can he finish it off now? He has 150 on this Gardevoir. Needs 170 damage. I mean, Ionos himself to one? Iono both players to one. And just gonna set up a swing fest here. Mm -hmm. Just see, does he top deck out of it? Can he get out of it? I think a play I would have liked to see by Burger would have been with Ultra Ball in hand last turn, mm -hmm. manually retreating the Gardevoir EX and swinging with Zashin V. Just to make it a little harder to hit the active and force Inteleon to go for another G Max Rapid Flow if they want that Gardevoir EX. Yep. Now, as we enter game two, let's see who goes first. I think Zacian only needed three energy mm -hmm. since he would hit V Max for weakness, which kept him out of the range. Yeah, but I think it all just leads to the same result. Let's see if Burger can come back on game set two. Guardy gonna go first this time. Putting one VIP, Ultra Ball, and another Curly and Gardevoir in there. 
that. Pretty decently strong hand. Let's see how aggressive he decides to go with it. I think as the guardy player here, you want to go super aggressive. I think you want that Mew, turn one, if he's playing it. Find out more VIP pass and just go for the full Curlias on turn two. Yeah. Just to limit the amount of pressure they can get on them. Avoid any yoga loops too early in the game. You know? Let's see. So, it is no. Get a small look at Inteleon's hand here, too, as well. Gonna also open a VIP pass, a four seal, and an ultra ball. You know, it's very strong start as well. You busted, dude. Definitely gonna commit to one Ralts here, deciding on what the second option's gonna be. Let's see. <clears throat> Thinking about the Cresselia, I don't know if that's ever worth it this early in the game, but I like the idea to keep the pressure on the Remory. Yeah. Yeah, he did pretty well during his last game. Just a couple unfortunate faults. <coughs> He's gonna commit to the Greninja. We're gonna get some early energy in the discard, more aggressive draw, maybe find some more VIP passes or level balls. He's gonna commit his Greninja to top deck. Finds Cresselia and Iono. I don't think yeah. either cards he was looking for right now. Maybe Cresselia, the preemptive bench. But he's got the Fog Crystal. Could be going for the Mew here, but I don't think he has a way to retreat it, so probably just a third Waltz. Make himself yeah. a little stronger than last game. Commits the Cresselia to the bench. He's gonna pass. A uh, pretty strong hand for the next turn. Iono's in there. He's got one Curlia down. So he could do a good amount of damage. But here's Inteleon going. You know, once they drop that VIP pass, extremely scary deck. See what Preston can do. Gonna grab fish and telly on here off the first two. Now I don't think I saw the Cheryl while he was going for this deck check. Very important part of this matchup, but I did see the echoing horn. That's a great way to turn the favors. Never need to go through an EX or Zashian V and just continue bullying the little guys. Makes the game plan so much easier. You can discard two energy for the Ultra Ball. What else is he looking for here? Maybe a third Inteleon? He's like, he is gonna grab the third Inteleon. Oh. Alright, he commits to having a third Intolion. 
Let's see. I mean, that's a great play. Between the three of them, they just spread 120 damage for discarding three energy. That completely destroys a guard of war and lost box type of board. Got a bunch of small little babies to start off, and they just can't handle that type of damage. You can go for the Melanie on the Italian V here. Draw an additional three cards and top decks the other battle VIP off of it. Is everything else he wants in the start? Hmm. <clears throat> Still has that four steel in his hands, but I don't think it'll be a great play to play it this early. Well. Going for the preemptive Medicham and Remoraid. Telling him he's not scared of that Cresselia this time. Do your worst with it. Going for the four seal to hit 120 and do 20 damage to a bench Pokemon. Turn one with Italian V against Gardevoir. That's scared. Wait. Oh, damn. All right. Do not doesn't. That's what it does, you know? Once he goes to evolve this next turn too, able to put that basic water back into hand to utilize it for more double gunners. This is not what you want to see as the Gardevoir player. At most, you're usually scared of maybe a Surf for 40, which that damage will add up for this matchup. Just taking the prize instantly and an additional 20 spread. Will Guardian be able to handle this type of pressure? He evolves into Ralts. a simple Iona. Nothing else he wants from that hand, really. He just wants to see a barrage of Raltas. More Curlias. Try to get something going for him. Yeah, he looks really behind here. He needs a Red Candy Gardevoir if he wants to do any damage with this Cresselia, really. But he might just be looking to set up a future Oko on the VMAX. He does have... A way to get that Garnivore, he, he just drew into a rare candy, and he has Ultra Ball in hand. Yeah, so now does he want to commit all these resources to one EX and one damage Curly on the bench? Or will he decide to accelerate his board with more Ralts instead? Still could do a lot of damage, bringing out the Guard of Orge EX. Two level balls in hand. Plenty of more pokes you can grab with that. There it is. Gonna grab the EX and then additionally another Ralts. So now he's able to do some damage here. Now he is able to snipe a Remoraid, but it's not gonna put any stop to Preston's plans here. Pre benching a second one. Yeah, there's just not much he's scared of in this situation. All right, there it is. Quick little prize card on the Remoraid by Burger, able to take off the damage on that bench Curlia. Might be able to help some of his math, but when you're staring at three Inteleon Vs, 
No matter how much you heal, it might just not matter. Bench is the Urge for B. Goes to the Iono 2 5. Still has Forest Seal and can evolve into Octillery. Nothing too crazy here. Just going for another Aqua Bullet here. 120, spreading additional 22 eventuals. Now this is the turn Burger really needs to pop off the most. You can probably hope to find this another rare candy into a shiny Arcana Gardevoir to prevent any more Yoga Loop activities. Medicham already sitting with an energy. Does bench his Manaphy. Uh, unfortunately, that will not save him from Yoga Loops or Double Gunner Pings. No, but, but... a future Urshifu V Strike will be protected. I don't know how I feel about the Iono by the Gardevoir. You saw your opponent didn't really do much off of the hand they just gave himself. Uh, not even threatening into the VMAX, any progression anywhere. Looks like he could have held off a little bit longer, but you know, more cards is understandable. Oh, it's all about the heart of the card, Yugi. Juicy Burger does play the choice spell on his list. Could have been what he was digging for here. Would be able to get the knockout on the active Italian D. Then he plays Collapse. Let's see what he takes. Alright. <clears throat> takes away Italian. Ops to chew, keep the Urshfu V. Yeah, three Italian, no matter how nice it is, could be a little bit resource heavy. So I think I agree with that one being the discard. Oh, 
loading up the baby arcana instead gonna put leave it at 20 hp remaining i believe no it's gonna have 40 hp remaining that's a very dangerous spot to leave it at but it will commit to at least getting two prizes here yeah. Preston finally getting Octillery online, has access to almost his entire deck now. Ooh, the rope here could be deadly, leaves the Shining Arcana onto the bench, will allow a double gunner and a yoga loop. Preston will be able to take an extra turn after this one. Clara is in hand, he'll be able to set up another Intellion too. Hmm, let's see. Besides Oops. on Curlia as the promotion here, and double gunnering Manaphy and Shining Arcana Gardevoir. Probably sets him up for um, a Yoga Loop play, correct? Yep, that Arcana is now 20 HP. It is in range of being Yoga Looped, and Preston will be able to take an extra turn after this one. Oh, let's see what Preston would do. Yoga loops takes an extra turn. Top decks a. Oh, top decks the Inteleon. There's no better top deck in this position. Being able to get rid of two of those water energies, creating yourself up to four cards. Immense Go. pressure on the bench. Gunners. Into Manaphy. And what's his next target? Right, he's going to double gunner. It's a whole entire bench. All right, get a quick read. Thinking about the potential Echo and Horn here. Only needs three prizes left, and there's a lot of easy pickups there on the board for him. Manaphy remaining on 10 HP, just the Radiant Alakazam tick away. Yeah, let's see. Could he move damage and knock out that Manaphy? Yeah, if he's able to get a Radiant Alakazam in his hand, but it does not look like he has any options there. Sitting on three Water Energy, Nurse Food VMAX, mm -hmm. two other cards. So, Manaphy's gonna stick around. One more turn. I'm gonna use Octillery for, you know, Tower of Waters. Yeah, probably just gonna go for the uh, G Max Spiral with Intellion here. Take an additional prize and leave a G Max Thrust for game possibility.
Burger with only three prizes remaining, looking to count up his energy. I'm trying to see if exhaustion V knockout could be possible. As a way to knock out Zashian. I think he's going to need a little bit more energy in the discard. But he could get there. He's got a lot of options hand. One energy, Fog Crystal, and the Ultra Ball. Let's see. Does he have a way to get 9 energy into the disc pile? 2 energy in hand, 1 great ninja ability to use. <clears throat> he does not find another energy i think he's only gonna have eight energy total between his hand and this card uh he'll be a little short would be 20 damage off but if that was eight he has a choice spell in hand Four, five, six. No, that's going to be seven in total. Find energy and a discarding item. Finds the energy, but no way to discard it. Possibly punish for not ultra blowing away one of the previous energy in hand. I think I would have liked to have seen that as a much more guaranteed way to just attach from hand. After you researched, cheated out, man. <laughs> cheated Looks out. Looks like he's punished for it. It's gonna be twenty damage short. Oh, this might be um, taking rocks moment. I think he just picks up the cards, shake his hand, goes home. There it yeah, is. Realize that would be game for the Italian player next turn. Twenty damage short. The missequencing could have cost him the game there. You know, well played by both players. Re realistically, if he did discard, would he, would Preston even have a way to, you know, knock out the Zacian? No, that would have been his last three prizes. So it would have gone to game three from there. Oh, okay. Wasn't yeah, so one slight overlook seemed to cost him the entire set. Any closing thoughts on this final, Psycho? Um, I mean, I got this one quote that I'm gonna bring out. Is she good or is she spread? I could not agree more with you. Oh yeah. I think we need to tell our five head out of store about that again. I think, I, I don't think he heard it loud enough. Oh, completely. Would you like to repeat it for us? Louder for the back? Is she good? Or she spread? Thank you. Words of wisdom right there. Music to my ears. Or she good? Or she spread?